I saw something this morning I was so astounded by, I just had to share it because it's all part of those worries. When people write comments, I think about them and I worry about them. And a particular comment is um, this stuff that I've been doing on 3D printing is leaving other people behind because they can't afford the tools. They can't afford to buy a 3D printer because they're so expensive. And I thought, well, is that right? So I went to the official Alagoo store, and this is the official Alagoo store, and saw this. I couldn't believe that price. It's 127.99. This is my Rage Evolution 1500 watt circular saw, or actually mitre saw. This cost more than the actual printer did. That Alagoo printer, I mean, I've been using it for months now, if not years, and I have to say, it's an awesome machine. It's done everything I wanted to do and have had next to no problems. The other thing people will say is, uh, yeah, but the material is so expensive. If you buy a roll of this stuff, it's about £11. Have you seen the price of wood? If you buy a stick of wood, 6 by 2 by 8 feet, it's more expensive than this. And you can't do that much with a stick of wood that size. You need far more. Timber has got ridiculously expensive. So the consumables... I don't agree. The machine, I don't agree. I don't think these are out of reach for people. £127, that's, that's in the realm of Christmas present. And we're coming up to Christmas now. Just look doleful, bat your eyes at your one true love, and maybe they'll buy you one for a Christmas present, because this day and age, that really is not that much money. Now, I have to tell you, Elegoo isn't paying me to say this. I mean, sure, they sent me a machine for a review ages ago. And to be honest, I wasn't keen to do it because prior to that, my experience of 3D printers, well, let's say it hadn't been great. They were clunky and efficient. They always messed up and you had to nurse them to produce something like a tiny robot. They were a pain. And when Elegoo sent me this machine, well, I feel I have my eyes opened. And it isn't just true of Elegoo. Right now, there's a war going on, so really good machines are being driven out at affordable prices. Okay, so what about other costs? I mean, people might say things like, well, software. And yes, yeah, software. I've never paid a bean for my software, and I use Tinkercad. All of this stuff I've done, I've done on Tinkercad. People will say, oh, you need this software, you need that software. And to be honest, whatever works for you. But Tinkercad is free. Some folks will say, yeah, but you can get free copies of the others. And you can, in a sense. They're usually restricted, so you can only have a certain number of models. Or they're restricted in time, so you can only use it for a certain period of time. Or you can use it if you happen to be affiliated to a university. Which makes sense, because if a student learns it, What's the likelihood they're going to change? So they're free in a sense, whereas Tinkercad is the only really free one, and it's like Lego, it's super easy to use. So software never paid a penny. What about the electricity? Well, the saw you just saw was 1500 watts, one and a half kilowatts. The Elegoo Neptune Pro 3 is 480 watts, so I can use it three times as long as a saw. Probably, on balance, the electricity cost of running the machine is about the same as running any machine, to be honest. Then there's the argument about the learning curve. And yeah, I mean, you, you've got to learn how to use the software and the machine, that's true. But they've done an awful lot to make machines easier to use. And to be honest, you have to learn everything. I mean, you have to learn not to pee yourself. You have to learn to tie your shoelaces. You have to learn to eat your dinner without sticking it in your ear. You always have to learn something. And so the, the easiest learning curve is going to be something that I think is a good idea. And again, that's why Tinkercad, Tinkercad is honestly just like using Lego. It takes hardly anything to learn and suddenly you're creating wonderful machines. So I don't have that much sympathy with this idea that the learning curve is so high. I mean, if you're going to use something like Blender, well, you might as well go outside, pick yourself a stick and beat yourself on the back with it because that is a learning curve. If you're going to use something like Tinkercad, well, I don't have much sympathy with that argument. So when I found out that price, I was so astounded I had to share it with you. However, when it comes to these things, I actually think it's a quite valid point. This thing is about uh, £4,000. And I looked around, and they, a usable one's about £1,000, and the cheapest K40 you can get is round about £350. And that is 
a lot of money. So I've been banging on for a while how all this really does is speeds up the job. You could still create these things by hand if you wanted to, this just made the job quicker. And somebody wrote to me saying, no, that's not really possible. I've worked with acrylic, you'll never do that. And a very good friend of mine wrote to me and said, Rob, could you do something where you're showing it on the laser, but then showing it made with traditional tools? And I thought, well, actually, I've been banging on that you can do that. It's a very good point. These are expensive tools and maybe are a bit more out of reach. So I decided to take this. This is our crystal generator that we made using the laser cutter and the 3D printer. And I'm going to remake this using traditional tools out of acrylic to show that the same thing can be done with traditional tools. I'm just using this as a tool to speed up the workflow. So I think it's a valid point when it comes to laser cutters. But when it comes to 3D printing, I think it's hanging on to a traditional view for no real good reason. It's really something I think people ought to um, abandon. 3D printers have come a long way. They're in a price war at the moment. They're brilliant machines and they really do a great job. There is no particular war going on with these things, so they're still quite expensive and they can be replicated by hand tools and I'm going to do exactly that by making that with traditional tools. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I had to share it with you. Thank you very much for watching. And please do remember to like and subscribe.